Is real estate resilient? Shares of Empire State Realty Trust up 5% today after reporting slight upticks in commercial and office occupancy in yesterday's results. But can these trends last? Joining us now for an exclusive exchange interview is Empire State Realty Trust Chairman and CEO Anthony Malcolm. Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we're, we're happy to have a positive story to tell here. I just hope we're not, you know, going to look back and go, ah, we didn't see what was coming. Well, you know, look, we continue to put points on the board. 3Q beat expectations. We raised our full year guidance. It's our ninth consecutive quarter of positive marks on our Manhattan office leasing. It's our seventh consecutive quarter in which we achieved positive lease rate absorption on our portfolio. We're just, uh, people want our product. We're at the top of our tier in our accessible price range. And we've got a good story to tell, and the tenants want it. Yeah, so what are we learning about the state of New York City? I, I think the mayor made some comments about how uh, we're back to kind of pre-pandemic levels of, of office workers or something to that. But we know that's not true for all of the office real estate, but obviously, like you said, yours a little bit more, I don't want to say low cost, but, but kind of average has clearly helped uh, fill things back up. Well, first of all, we're modernized and monetized, energy efficient with indoor environmental quality and great locations, future ready real estate, number one. Number two, best balance sheet, lowest leverage of all the New York City office REITs. When you put that together with uh, the fact that we are at the top of our tier, there are tiers. We're in a pricing tier, which is the deepest segment of the market, and there's a lot of demand there, and we're a flight to quality in that. So we're really outpacing the, the market with our performance. So I guess the question would be, okay, real estate is broadly taking a hit from higher rates because investors are finding, you know, it's competing for capital. It's maybe undermining some business models. Obviously, there's concerns about the bank's exposure. I guess in your case, are there idiosyncrasies, for instance, like your, your, um, your deck uh, up there on the Empire State Building that can help act as a cushion or maybe an offset uh, to some of the headwinds? I think there are two pieces here. One, we've got four drivers, office, destination attraction, number one attraction in the United States, according to TripAdvisor, for the second year in a row. We also have retail, and we traded out of a bunch of our suburban office and 1031 uh, exchanges into Manhattan residential. The second thing is you know, we've positioned our balance sheet always to be ready for what might go wrong. So we've got no floating rate debt, best balance sheet of all of our peers, and, uh, and, and we locked in long-term uh, long debt. So from our perspective, we're in a position to go forward and take advantage of opportunities as they present themselves. And if you could peer around the corner, you, should, you also signed some leases with LinkedIn and Starbucks, so some commercial activity there as well, as we know New York uh, City foot traffic is picking back up. If you could peer around the corner for 2024 then, how do you position, like the, the avoiding floating rate debt, brilliant strategic move, obviously, but what are the next kind of chess moves to watch? Well, I think, first of all, we want to make sure we have runway. So we are in a position always to take advantage of opportunity. And by that, I mean acquisitions. Uh, number two, we really want to continue to emphasize our difference in that we can cooperate and help with our tenants' operations and their choices for energy-efficient spaces, which are sustainable. Uh, number one, our, our locations are fantastic. And remember, this is the deepest part of the market. And we really didn't lever up and do transactions during the boom, boom period leading up to the current credit crunch. So we're in a good spot. And, and that's shown in people coming to us. Keep in mind, by the way, that's Starbucks. That's an office lease. That's not another retail lease. So, uh, and, and LinkedIn is an office lease. So we're really thrilled. We're really pleased and, and we're feeling very positive.